Hello and welcome to Auto Today. My name is Dipayan and you're joining me today from Bajaj's test facility in Pune to check out the brand new 2022 KTM RC390. Now when I say brand new, I mean it. This bike has an entirely new chassis, loads of new components, but it uses that same very capable motor. So how well does it put it to use? Well, we're going to find out in our review. But right now, let's take a closer look at the design and see what exactly has changed before we jump into our review. So we start our design review of this motorcycle at the front and right from the nose is where things have changed. Starting with these new 17 inch alloy wheels that are still the same size as before but featured a new design for a lighter construct and of course a much lighter curb weight. Uh, additionally, the brakes have changed as well lighter although they are the same diameter as before the short in Metzeler tires which are great on the road uh, the mud guard is also shorter and almost meets the nose of the motorcycle then we move back to the fairing which is again all new and is designed to cut the air better and has a much better coefficient of drag which means that the bike is probably going to be more stable at high speeds than before now to talk about the fairing itself the fairing is a lot wider and integrates a much bigger uh, fly screen that once again does a better job of deflecting air. The fly screen also houses the brand new LED headlamp as well as the indicators which used to be on the stock of the rear view mirrors. Now moving to the back, things have changed again. You have a newer more ergonomic handlebar that is better for riding inside the city of course the bars can be dropped and brought in to a certain extent before when you're on the track you also get a new digital tft screen for your instrument cluster which is similar to what we've seen on the uh, duke 390 and the 390 adventure coming to the center section this is a brand new tank and it's metal it now holds 13.2 liters of fuel over the 9 liters from the previous generation of the bike now as we go under the skin it's all new as well it uses a lighter chassis up front and a brand new subframe at the rear all going to centralize the mass better and bring that ratio of front to back to 47 from 47 53 to 48 52 which is better centered and better for ergonomic riding now again we move to the seats the seats too are new, they are complete split seats arrangement, they have this Alcantara like finish and they provide better uh, support meaning you can spend longer hours on the bike without really having a sore bum. Uh, that said, I think the motorcycle in total looks a lot more compact and feels a lot more friendly even before you get onto it. Now once you are on it of course, the dimensions once again start to feel really compact and it feels like the bike builds itself around you and I think that's where this new generation of the RC390 is going to stand out for being a more friendly motorcycle that you can ride every day. So another thing you guys have been blowing up our inboxes about is that we don't talk enough about sound. Of course this KTM 390 gets a new exhaust with a new muffler with a mesh at the end. It looks pretty cool but I think what you all all are waiting to hear is the sound so let's not waste any more time. Turn it over and see what it sounds like. Powering the 2022 RC390 is the same 373cc liquid cooled motor that we've all come to know and love. Maximum power stays at 42.9 bhp while torque increases by 1 nm thanks to a redesigned airbox that is now 40% larger in this iteration. The power delivery hasn't changed all that much and that means it still makes to the sky every time you roll on with your right wrist. Now though, KTM have also included a traction control system that is among the best I've ever used on a motorcycle. The intervention is not intrusive in the least, 
but it allows you to thwack open the throttle with confidence while the electronics figure out the most effective way to put the power down. The 6-speed gearbox is also just as slick as ever and an impeccable quick shifter makes for easy downshifts out on the track, even when you're shifting really hard. Where things have really changed though is on the ergonomics and ride. This new RC uses a new chassis with a bolt-on rear subframe that is suspended between a 43mm USD fork up front that is non-adjustable and a rear monoshock that is adjustable for both preload and damping. This new frame improves the weight distribution too, moving from a 5347 to a closer to 5050 weight distribution of 5248. This means that even with the tractability of the new handlebars, the KTM doesn't lose any track worthiness even in its stock rider triangle settings. It's still a scalpel that can change direction with just as much if not more agility and sure-footedness from its previous generation. Braking comes from a lighter 320mm disc, Bybre, 4-piston radially mounted calipers and a 230mm disc at the rear. Aided by the more sure-footed frame, the braking seems to offer a little more confidence and stopping force than before. Finally, for those touched individuals among us who like to tour on their track-focused RCs, I see you and so does KTM. This iteration is likely to much improve the experience of long rides. Of course, there is still the vibey character of the motor which will leave you buzzing after a long ride, but it's much improved from the previous generations that we've ridden. To balance that out, you now have a more pliant seat with an Alcantara-like finish that incorporates 50% more padding without changing the height of the seat. This means that long hours in the seat are going to be a lot more comfortable and the fact that you aren't hunched over on the new handlebars will add to that fact even more. In fact, the new seat contributes to about 900 grams of the overall weight savings on the new KTM RC390. Thank you so much for tuning in to our video review of the brand new 2022 KTM RC390. Of course, if you like the video, don't forget to hit that like button because it means a lot to us. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the Auto Today channel so you never miss out on any of the great automotive content we put out every week. And of course, don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you get notified when we drop this new content. Now, getting back to the RC390, this motorcycle now retails for about 3.14 lakh X showroom, which is about 36,000 rupees more than what it used to be. Now, for the extra money, what you get is a motorcycle that has matured in so many ways. It's become a more usable motorcycle, not just on the track like it used to be. It's become a motorcycle that you can consider riding every day. And I think that's going to make a big difference, especially when you consider the competition that has evolved into being motorcycles that are truly dual purpose in the sense that you can use them every day and then take them onto the track and then ride them hard. And that I think is exactly what this new RC has done and what KTM have done with this new RC. I do feel a bit sad that we missed out some of the features like the adjustable suspension in the front but I mean considering a price point and considering the fact that they need to stay competitive in an ever evolving market I think the KTM still makes a lot of sense especially for those who do enjoy spending a lot of time on the track. That is it from us and that's our review. This is DD signing off.